Chanclan viewers and Tech Talk viewers, this is the GeForce RTX 4090. This is the Supreme Liquid X liquid cooled version of the 4090 graphics card by MSI. This was actually a lucky buy. I actually have no idea how I got this. I had a now in stock notification that this was in stock at Newegg months ago. It was in my cart, but I could never check out. Um, I was buying Elden Ring for the kids, and when I put Elden Ring in the cart, all of a sudden I could check out with this. That was like a day ago. And they overnighted me this right away. I thought I was going to go in back order. Uh, still not wordable from the website, but Newegg delivered. Now we got a 4090. So we're going to upgrade our 3090. So I have a 3090, uh, also a MSI RTX GeForce. Uh, what is this? Uh, it was a Gaming X Trio uh, to this Supreme Li Liquid X. Didn't really intend to get the liquid uh, water block cooler here just because I'd rather have fans that don't wear out or break. Uh, but at the same time, um, we'll try this out. And it was the only 4090 I could get. Ironically, the 4090 Gaming uh, by MSI today was available for, what, $17.99, which was actually $50 more than the Supreme. So I got this at MSRP at $17.49 plus tax. All right, let's open it up and see what we got. Okay, we're unboxing this. I'm gonna open this up here. And nice box has this kind of Supreme logo packaging, kind of opens up there. And I hear there is a bonus, um, Mouse pad. There it is. Bonus mouse pad. Supreme kind of cloth mouse pad. And great. We don't have a box of bricks. Some people have reported that people got random stuff. This thing is giant. And this is actually one of the smallest cards. It's a two slot card. Just because the four slot coolers are built on the fans for which this one does not require a fan as it does have this radiator. So we'll have to get to the radiator, which is underneath all of this, and mount the radiator in our case. Fortunately, we got a big case, a dark something pro, be quiet, dark pro 900. Uh, this is a power dongle here, and then the radiator. So let us open this up and try to install this in our new case and i'll give you a comparison of how these two cards stack up uh, with the 3090 side by side okay that's my 3090 mounted inside my case i'm going to need an extra power connector because this is requiring four dedicated power connectors to connect this and i should be able to mount either the radiator over here or top mount it up there in this case. So I'll have to take a look around, but uh, we're moving from a three slot to a two slot card. So let's see how this compares. Okay, so we have these side by side. This is the new 4090 card. You can see it's a dual slot design versus this three slot design of the 3090. Um, so lengthwise, a little bit shorter by a little bit, but that's offset by this big radiator, right? So with the two fans built in, three fan system, uh, with the cooling. So let's mount this into the actual computer. All right, I've had to rearrange my case in ways that I've never had to do before. Uh, I have the radiator here, it's the only place that fits. I had to move my hard drives down, remove my five and a quarter cage here, and actually unfortunately had to take my first fan and move this because uh, you have this big Noctua Dark Knight thingamajig. Uh, and have to make it a pull fan instead of a push fan here because I don't have room. Uh, anyways, uh, CPU should be fine. Um, back to this guy here. So this is the new 12-pin connector that only has like, gosh, 24 bends in it or something like that and has been prone to melting down. Uh, major issue here is not to kink this at too acute of an angle and these all have to attach to independent power lines and I have four of them coming off my 1200 watt PSU. So let's put this in and connect these together. Okay, connected it together. This power cord seems to be straight. Uh, the bends are gonna come here against the glass. Uh, this water return pipe will have to kind of nestle itself over here, um, but that should do it. 
Uh, let's power this up and see if this thing boots. All right, here goes nothing. Power up. Okay, I hear the juice is flowing. Got the radiator going up there. Supran's lighting up. Looks like I'm getting something on the screen. That's good. Looks like we're booting up here. There's some gurgling through here. Okay. There you have it. This is the Suprem liquid cooled RTX 4090. Pretty quiet. I think this will do. Make sure my fans, yeah, it's pulling air through the cooler here. Let's see what we have uh, performance wise. And uh, there are two um, fan settings here, if you can see here. Got a gaming switch versus silent switch. We'll just keep it on the gaming mm -hmm. for performance here. And it looks like everything's booted up, so that's a good thing. All right, there is my crazy install. Now I'm gonna have to manage these uh, power cables against the glass and also this uh, water tubing here. Probably put a cable tie over here to just try to loop them in a little bit here. Okay, well, there you have it. This is the uh, Suprem RTX 4090, uh, the Suprem Liquid X model. Um, thanks for watching our unboxing and install. So we had to move our radiator and our hard drives around just to fit this in this crazy system.